subscribe now. EU debates. For a third month in a row, brave Ukrainians are facing criminal Russian aggression and are defending freedom not only in their homeland but throughout Europe. I had the opportunity uh, a few weeks ago to visit Kiev, uh, visit Irpin and Bucha after the Russian invasion. I saw all the horrors of the Russian crimes. For instance, in Bucha, there is not a single military uh, facility, and yet Russian aggressors have been attacking uh, civilians from the first day of the aggression. I saw m mass graves, uh, I saw bombed houses, uh, burnt cars, I saw toys in front of uh, um, damaged houses. Uh, these are pictures uh, that are unforgettable. And also, it's absurd that the war criminal Putin is honoring uh, these war criminals for their acts. What Russians see as heroism, all normal people see as a primitive crime. And crimes should not be honored. They should be punished. I therefore welcome the penalties uh, for these criminals. Uh, and also, uh, I welcome the new sanctions package. Um, I also welcome the inclusion of uh, the uh, Russian disinformation channel in the new sanction package. For years we've been inactive against Russian propaganda. It's high time for us to act now. But we need to go even further in order to protect life in Europe. We need to de russify Europe. Let's not be afraid. Let's cut off uh, our dependence on Russian energy. Some countries are very dependent, including my country, Slovakia. I therefore understand all the worries. But the solution is in finding common approach, in building a common market, in energy, in um, um, joint purchasing, there are solutions. So we need to protect freedom, we need to protect human life uh, and dignity, just uh, um, as Christian Democrats have done in Europe. Uh, it is all the more valuable today. Uh, we need to see uh, their acts as an example, as a role model. By helping Ukrainians, we will help ourselves. The human life has more value than any money in the world. The next speaker is Mrs. Elsie Katainen.